All right, all right, Israel. Grace be to you and peace from our Heavenly Father, Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai. I got the brother Zuri Solomon, a man of wisdom, with us. No right. doubt. Shalom, shalom, Israel. All praise to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. What are you giving that you can understand and hold fast to that which is good? All right. Good. All right, Israel. Listen, this, goes, this is going to no doubt start a fire. Mm -hmm. All right. It's called the lesson. Hebrews wearing satanic Jewish fringes. Deception alert. That's right. It's back on again, Israel. We got another deception alert again. Hebrews wearing satanic Jewish fringes. Deception alert. Now, I have been chief in this, as have many other brothers and sisters thinking that we were keeping the charge of the Most High. Let's bring out Numbers in the 15th chapter. Numbers in the 15th chapter. I'll get it for, uh, for us. Mm -hmm. Numbers 15 and 38. This is what the Most High told the children of Israel. Here the thing. He says, Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generations and that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue mm. that is the command now we know that all of us okay have either heard it or have partaken in this thing called fringes and let me start out by saying if anybody as they wants to as they hear this as they hear this message that's being sent out okay because there's certainly something wrong, okay? If you say, well, oh, that don't count for me. I didn't never put on fringes. You're still in transgression. We just read the law in the 15th chapter of, uh, of Numbers. The Most High bid Israel that they wear fringes. He, he bid them fringes, okay? So it's no getting out of this. If you didn't have on, you're in transgression. If you did have them on and they're not co on correctly, you're in transgression, of numbers 15 38 all right so we got that out the way you understand so get rid of all of the high-mindedness okay mm -hmm. now another brother of ours laboring in the faith okay brought this message out and he said hmm this is not right okay and he he, he has his he, he has his whole summation where he went into uh why he's bringing it out and how we we learned it from these so-called jewish people so on and so forth i'm not going to take you through all of that i'm not going to take you through reading the talmud vicious nasty literature no need to do that bottom line we're going to attack the notion that the most high bid israel to wear stringy f strings hanging down from beneath the borders of their garments that's not what it was saying, all right? And we're going to get it. But first, we're going to set this lesson up. If you would, Zuria, please read them Proverbs in the first chapter, first, fifth verse. Proverbs 1 5, let's grab that. Proverbs 1 5. And it says, A wise man will hear and will increase learning, and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels. So wait a minute, read that one more time. Listen to the thing, Israel. Proverbs verse, first chapter, fifth verse, it says, A wise man will hear and will increase learning, and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels. Oh, okay. It says a wise man will, will, will do this. So you are wise if you will do these things, okay? Right. So if you do not do them, then that's telling you off rip that you are not wise. A wise man will hear, okay? So we heard the thing, the brother was laboring in the faith, bringing this news out, this, this message out to Israel, and we heard it because we dare not be high-minded. Proverbs 9th chapter. Proverbs 9. Do you by any chance have We got us. Huh, go ahead. Do you by any chance have the brother's name that did the video? Sir, did I do you? not. I'll get it for you in just a second. No problem, no problem, family. All right, Proverbs 9 and what again? 9 and 9? 9 and 9. Mm-hmm. Proverbs 9.9, 9, it says, Give instruction to a wise man, and he will be yet wiser. Teach a just man, and he will increase in learning. 
Oh, okay. So it said, give instruction to a wise man and he will be yet wiser. Okay. We heard instruction to look into this thing. Right. The most high sent his servant. Do you understand that? To give Israel a message. This fringe thing, quote unquote, is off. You see that? And so we heard the brother one more time over in the 12th chapter of Proverbs verse 1. Proverbs 12 and 1? That's correct. Proverbs 12, chapter first verse, and it reads, Whoso loveth instruction, loveth knowledge. Be the hate of reproof is brutish. Okay, so one more time. Mm -hmm. Whoso loveth instruction, loveth knowledge. The instruction is to look deeper into this and see what, check to see what is the command of the Most High, not men. Okay, Israel? Right. Now, one last thing, if we can get Proverbs in the sixth chapter, I mean, uh, Sirach, Ecclesiasticus in the sixth chapter, please. Sirach 631. That's correct. That is correct. Was it 631? That's 632. Yeah, I think 31, 32. I got you. All right, Sirach 6, six chapter 32 verses is my son. If thou wilt, thou shalt be taught. If thou wilt apply thy mind, thou shalt be prudent. So it, the scripture is telling us if we if we were willing to hear the thing, we will be taught. Okay. So now we have introduced to you the notion that and I know it's going to be hell because everybody okay. again, you're talking to the same men that brought unto you that we're starting over in the truth. If you could hear that, you can you're capable of hearing anything. Now, these quote unquote fringes that we heard these ABC camps told us when we were awakened uh, that we were to wear, they, we're putting that to an examination now. We find out that that's not the command of the Most High. So now let us go over here to Exodus in the 26th chapter. Exodus 26. And we can go down to, uh, we can start at the third, I mean, it's just talking about the tabernacle. Mm -hmm. Most High has given instructions to Moses as to how to go about the construction of the tabernacle, okay? That's right. Now, we all know that in, not anybody in Israel could even go into the tabernacle. Am I correct? That's right. Don't all right, right, so go ahead and read that to him. No, go ahead, brother. You say what you got to say. I'm, I'm good. Uh, Exodus 26 and 3, it says, The five curtains shall be coupled together one to another, and other five curtains shall be coupled one to another. And thou shalt make loops of blue upon the edge of the one curtain from the salvage in the coupling. And likewise shalt thou make in the uttermost edge of, of another curtain in the coupling of the second. Okay, so wait a minute now. This is in the holy tabernacle of the Most High, okay? Now, it said, thou shalt make loops of blue upon the edge Right. Of the one curtain from the salvage in the coupling. So now we got to get into some things. Okay, because mm -hmm. I know you're scratching your head right now saying, what the hell did this got to do with wearing uh, fringes, which you consider to be uh, what has been considered to be fringes in the borders of our garments? Well, we're going to find out uh, the, what, what are fringes. You were told if you didn't, if you have an idea and you didn't get it from the most high, we've asked this question before, posed it before you before. Where did you get that thought? Right. Okay. So when we read Numbers 15, 38, I bid them that they wear uh, 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 fringes in the borders of their garments. Who had an idea upon reading that, that that meant strings hanging from beneath your shirts? Right. Or because your that, pants or your arms. Right. But that would mean that that's a non salvaged uh shirt that you're wearing. It's almost that's what we're gonna get that's, into. That's, yeah, that's what they, the term rent means, yep. They don't know what salvage means. That's not a word readily used. That's right. So let's get into that then. Okay, so we're gonna go into the etymology dictionary. Because we're not just going to check the definition. We're going to see how old the word is. Has it derived from other words? And has it changed in its definition? Let's look at the word okay. fringe first before we get into that. And then we're going to jump right into the salvage. There it is. All right. So it says ornamental boarding. Material for a fringe. From old French fringe. Thread. Like one piece of thread. You see that? Strand. Fringe. 
You see that? Him, border. All right. We already know what him means. We know what him understands to seal up to him. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Border. All right. So again, when you read this, uh, what was it? Number fifth, Numbers 15 chapter. Right at the end of it, it says, and they that put upon the fringe of the border of ribbon of blue. So it's almost like you sewing in something. And so you won't see the stitch. You'll put a ribbon of blue around it. It ain't saying put some, you know, dangling uh string around the borders of your, of your garments. You see that? That's right. That's right. Now think about something else. I had a little critical thinking in here, Israel. Now, this so-called white man, this so-called Jewish man. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now. Did we get this idea of strings hanging down from him or did he get it from us? Now, if I'm not mistaken, Israel's just begun their awakening within the past couple years. OK, so this so-called white man, this Jewish, this satanic devil. OK, he's been doing this. So obviously we learned it from him. Do we do we have the image of this guy up here? Who is this you talking about? The white man? This, uh, this, 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 that's correct. Put his ass up there. <laughs> All right, there your boy is right there. <laughs> what is he holding? Look at him. What he's holding? Does that not look like the t-shirts and the garments that all the Israel is wearing? Mm -hmm. so Who tough. think they're keeping the charge? And again, I have been chief in this. That's right. Okay, because again, we have learned wrong. Yep. Since we awakened, we have been taught lies. I've also believed in it as well, brother. You're not the only one. It's a testimony. Okay. That's right. Testimony. That's right. But thanks to the convocating that we were commanded to do by the Most High, then uh, different gifts, different brothers and sisters going to have different gifts, as the scripture tells us. So all of us, take, a, take your hand right now, Israel. Follow me now. Take your hand, hold it up in front of you, all with the palm of your hand outstretched. You got five fingers or four fingers and a thumb. Now, Ball your fist up. That's what it's like. You understand that? That's mm -hmm. what it must. Now with a fist, you can strike a mighty blow. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay? So now, we're doing this second grade style. You know how we know what time it is. We're not teaching nothing sophisticated. All right. Now. Better jump back to that word salvage real quick for you. There you go. Uh -huh. That Definitely. Listen to that thing good. Selvage. Let's go back and read that again. I'll read it. Uh -huh. It was the fourth chapter in uh, Exodus 26. And thou shalt make loops of blue upon the edge of the one curtain from the selvage in the coupling. Now hmm. go ahead. All right. So from the selvage. All right. So the word selvage means edge of web or cloth so finished as to prevent raveling. You see Wait that? a minute. Mm -hmm. To do what? Prevent raveling. Oh, so those little those little strings that we had hanging, that's a raveling, correct? This is off the edge of your clothes. It's not sealed okay, yet. so the salvage, the salvage is to prevent that raveling, correct? That's right. Okay, so go ahead. That's right. It says to prevent raveling, apparently, literally, its own edge. All right? Its own edge. All right, so you jump on down to this part right here. This is talking about the languages and all that all right uh -huh. get down to the bottom it says border you see that then it says middle high germanic or german whatever that word is literally self end <laughs> you see that so it has an end to it as a board it stops it don't keep it don't go mm. past the shirt or go past the garment so mm. add another material to it that's not how our forefathers did that what they did again they sewn um, around the garment so it won't be hanging like just think about back in the day all right they tore some cloth off all right and at the bottom was rent so they had to sew that bottom up so it won't be rent anymore and around that stitch they put a border of blue that was that was the border of blue around the fringe or around the stitch you see that now we know that the Most High told us when we look upon this ribbon of blue or look upon this fringe that we would remember, keep in mind the commandments. OK, That's right. so we understand that he never said anything about strings hanging from that border. Look at this right. picture right here. Go ahead. No, look at this picture right here. The, the top picture or the top part of it is salvaged. You see that it's stitched in. You see that now the bottom part is non-salvaged, which means it's not stitched. 
Okay. So it's hanging down. There's not is nothing there to prevent it from raveling. You see that? Huh. Break it uh, down to them one more time. Make them just make sure they understand what this non-selfish is. Right. Right. Again, so the non-selfish part has nothing around it to keep it from unraveling. You see that? It's just dangling down there like a fringe would. Now you got this. Looks selfish. just like the t-shirts that we wear, correct? And the garments. That's right. That's right. And the selfish portion is, is hemmed up. That's what the term him is talking about. Hemmed up, fringed. That's what it's talking about. All right. All right. So let's go to Exodus in the 28th chapter then. All right. Exodus. And we're going to read um, the 32nd verse. Exodus 20. 28 and 32. 28, 32. Exodus 28, 32. Will be up. All right. So it says, and there shall be a hole on the top of it. Exodus 28 and 32. And there shall be a hole in the top of it. In the midst thereof, it shall have a binding of woven work around about the hole of it, as if the hole, as if it were the hole of an habergon or habergion, that it be not rent. And it be not rent. That's Did right. you hear that? And it be not rent, like the non salvage. That's right. That's rent. No hanging strings of thread of any kind. So it be not rent. Now, these are the curtains within the holy tabernacle of Yahweh. Okay. Right. Now, he, you're telling me that you think that he's going to tell the children of Israel to uh, put on garments that look not like the tabernacle? Remember, because the rent garments were always the garments that was wore for uh, mourning. Are you mourning the devil? There you go. Or whatever. You will wear rent clothing. All right, that's not what he wanted our everyday apparel to be. See that he wanted to be a border blue around that. All right, that's correct. That's correct. So we overstand then the difference between selfish and non selfish because again, he said back to 26 again, at uh, that these curtains. Uh, to make loops of blue upon the edge of the one curtain from the selvage in the coupling. You understand that, Israel? Mm -hmm. All right. So now let us go back over here and uh, continue to think about this thing, to think about where from did we get this notion that strings were to be hanging from our garments? That's not what we read. Check this out. It said to be not rent. Go ahead, brother. Check this picture out right here. This is a so-called Native American um, garment. You see this? It looks rent, like it was torn from something, like it was pieces torn from it. The most I didn't want us to dress like this. Oh, wait a minute. You just kicked something off. Oh, you know, I mean, we, 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 listen, listen, you, we got us make a pit yeah. stop right quick. He mentioned these damn Indians. They said that they came over here on ships and that they were wearing fringes from the top. Mm. From the from the from the inception of their trip over here, supposedly as Israelites. <laughs> okay, so but we just read the Most High makes it so He's told us so that it be not rent. That's right. So if you all were wearing you damn Indians were wearing garments that you thought were called fringes, the way that you that you received the information, you are not in accordance to the command of the Most High. We all understand that easily, don't we? That's right. Okay. That's right. Okay. What else we got for them? Because we know our people need images. That's right. Look at our people right here, man. Look at the innocency of our people. Not knowing that what they have on is not truly accepted by the Most High. See that? It's rent at the bottom. It looked like it was torn. You see that? This portion right here. Okay. And you got the brother right here. He has his fringes on here. But then he also added, I guess you want to call that some blue. I mean, I don't know where he get that. Cosmetics. From. Yeah, being extra uh, fashionable, if you will. He didn't, mm -hmm. Most I didn't want you to wear it to be fashionable. You see that? And I understand. You know, they're in their ignorance like we. Was it not ignorant? No doubt. You know? And they look happy with their fringes on. You see that? Yep. That's called fringes on. You see that? Not doing it according to the most high. So again, that Proverbs strange woman, Proverbs 7, she's back at work. She's back at work, bro. She never stops, man. <laughs> she never stopped, dog. She's always on the stroll, always on the streets looking at uh, the simple-minded, the simple ones. You see that? 
And it was simple and simple in this matter. And she captivated us as well. See that? So she gets everybody, bro. <laughs> she gets everybody. And let me, that's right. She has us all. We There's no killing her. Understand that, Israel. Nah. You defeat her for a day. Tomorrow, you have to renew uh, the pledge because right. she will be renewing her pledge. She said, I paid my vows. Mm. You see that? Okay, so you gotta you gotta renew the pledge every day. She'll be back. You gotta take up the the the, the battle again tomorrow because guess what? She'll be back tomorrow. Okay, we all understand that. We're not gonna keep you forever in this lesson. Uh, go ahead, brother. Yeah, and the only thing too, um, the only only way you're gonna defeat is if you don't have pride, bro. That's simple. Simple. If you have pride, you're not gonna defeat the proverb seven chick, bro. No, I just wanna throw that out there. That's also that. Got to throw that out there. Very important. Very important. Because let me tell you something, Israel. Let me be honest with you. When the news came to me, a brother brought this to me, sent it to me like seven in the morning. He said, Brother Radawa, I gotta talk to you about this when I get off from work. I said uh, about about this video right here. He said it. So when I went into the video, the brother that's bringing out the information and uh uh Shalawam to you, brother, uh the house of wisdom, I think is the name of it, but we're gonna get that. Um he he to, to to kind of preface where he was going with this he set it up by reading from this this book of literature called the talmud that's right okay this satanic book of these goddamn so-called white people okay it's called the talmud and it's a, a, a i mean it's a a lynching a verbal lynching of our lord and savior how shot okay yeah. Yeah. now i suffered the man though because he's telling me these are devil fringes, devil's fringes. So for when I looked at that and the brother had given it to me, I said, I got to suffer this brother who he labored in the faith to bring this message to us. I don't want to hear about no damn Talmud, but I did. And it took about 40 something minutes. So I labored with him as did he with me That's and great. he with us. You understand that? That's the commitment, Israel. Understand that. Okay. So now then, um, after which the, the the suffering took place for 40 in a few minutes he finally made it to his point to break it down to us hey here's what the scriptures are talking about about the, the holy tabernacle and he we didn't he went into the uh into the just like we did for you he went into the meaning the etymology of these words salvage him fringe okay and quickly we found out that's not what the Most High is saying. There's nothing about no strings hanging. It was to prevent that so that it would not ravel, so there be not rent. You understand that? Absolutely. This is the word of the Most High. That's right. Go ahead, brother. That's right. And again, if I can show you all this picture, um, so I can give you a mental image of what it's supposed to look like. Somewhat like the brothers have it right here, um, just without, without the strings at the bottom. It's just supposed to be a, a border of blue hiding the if you look at your shirts right now and your actual shirts as we speak you can see how it's sewn at the bottom that's the hemmed it hemmed up it's, there you go. it's hemmed there you go that's that's the fringe right there off on top of that fringe let's grab that one more time brother numbers 15. i got us 30 38 yeah on top of that fringe on top of that sewing you're supposed to put a border of blue around that see that nothing's supposed to be coming from beneath that all right let's grab it one more time Numbers 15 and 38, speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generations. Right. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. Stop right there, brother. So again, go yeah, ahead. Right, right there it says put upon the what? Put upon, let me back up a little bit. Uh -huh. Put and that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue right so you see that see he didn't say put upon the fringes of the borders a ribbon of blue he said a, a fringe like a sewing one string one strand of line or whatever you want to call that around the borders of your garment and over top of that you put a ribbon of blue you see that? that's why that's you see right. it again. and there and that they put upon the fringe so on top of the fringe they put on a ribbon of blue so even if this was right, you ain't doing it right. Because <laughs> on top Damn. of the fringe, it's supposed to be the uh, board of blue. Not on not on top of it. It's supposed to be on it. It says upon it. You see that? 
<laughs> so yeah, I mean, it's it's crazy that we got to go through it, but that's, that's just what it is. Proverbs seven, she's here, bro. That's just what it is. Proverbs seven, she's here, bro. All right, go ahead, brother. So and and, and think about it, Israel. Mm. We are just awakening from our hundreds of years of slumber, at the very least. That's okay, right. so this is going to be a process. No, we're not going. We're not going to take this down in all in in one blow, one mighty blow, and there it is. We all awake, and everything's lovely. That's not how this goes. The Most High set up something very intricate here, very sophisticated, and you have to study to show yourself approved. That's right. Okay, so now I'm going to match you in the ninth chapter. Matthew, no. Let's hear the thing. We're going. To, these are going to be kind of like witnesses or accounts. That are going to testify to the truth of the matter. Matthew 9 and 20. Listen to it good. And it says, and behold, a woman which was diseased with an issue of blood 12 years came behind him, Yahweh Shai, and touched the hem mm. of his garment. Look at that Didn't word. say the strings of his garment. That's okay. Bring that definition out again uh, for for them, please. In the definition of him. I think we found a very uh, intricately detailed uh, definition there. All right. Him. Let's go right here. All right. So the first one is uh, not a definition we're looking for. All right. We went to now, right? Mm hmm. It says, Old English, him, a border of cloth or a garment. From Proto Germanic Hajan, whatever that garbage is, to bridle curb, to stop, restrain. To stop and restrain. Listen to that good. So if you have stopped something at the border, you don't have anything else. There'll be no strings hanging. It's been stopped. It's been restrained. It's said to prevent raveling. That's right. So that it be not rent. You understand that? Go ahead. That's right. It says uh restrain to hinder. All right, to compress. You see that? To compress. You, you, you know, your fringes that's dangling down, they're not compressed. Right? To, to press, squeeze, right? Press together. And the main one, stop. To stop. You see that? So if, you're, if, you're, if your garment has these fringes on it, so-called fringes, and they're dangling, it's not stopping. They can stop at the border of your garment. You just add it on to the border of your garment. Mm -hmm. See that? All right. Mm -hmm. That's it on that Match you in the 14th. 14th, we're going to get another witness, the same witness. Or oh, maybe, uh, no, it's not the same. All right. Match you 14 and where was it? 20. No, nine. Nope. And uh, match you 14. Hold on. Where is it? Hey man, it's, on. gotta make sure we on uh, make sure we right for the most high. Make sure our garments is right for the most high, and not having on strange apparel. You see that? Gotta That's look. right, cause we're gonna get that too over in Zephaniah in the first chapter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you want to bring that out while I look through this 14th chapter, I thought it was right here. Zephaniah. Zephaniah, Zephaniah one and eight. Mm -hmm. One and eighth verse. All right, it says, and it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice that I will punish the princes and the king's children, and all such are clothed with strange apparel. Mm. You see that? Mm. Mm. So, look so at the it. Most High is judging strange apparel. Whatever that is, do you want to fuck around with it is the question. <laughs> okay? <laughs> if it's not that is the doing. question. That's right. That's right. And the brother in the chat just says something real profound. The Most High wants us looking neat. People understand that. He's very, very orderly and meticulous about what he wants on our garments and what he wants on his tabernacles, what he wants us to eat, everything. You see that he wants us to walk around with stuff dangling from our clothes? Nuh-uh. The Most High said he wants that fringed up and a border of blue around that so we can remember the commandments. See that? He don't want us All to right. eat that ball. All right. That's correct. That is correct. And we're going to get one more time. Let's go and see about how Mashiach, what did he look like? Like we found out in the ninth chapter of, of Matthew, they mm -hmm. touched the, the hem of his garment. 
Matthew 14 and 36, and besought him that they might only touch the hem mm. of his garment. That's right. You see that? That's right. That's right. And as many as touched were made perfectly whole see they wouldn't been made perfectly whole quite possibly if it would have been a rent in the garment because then Hamashiach would not have been perfect see people think friends see that because of strong's quote-unquote understandings and they got their understandings from the jewish see what i'm saying mm -hmm. fringe is these little dangling things but a fringe is only one thing you have when you're clothing that's why you said put upon the fringe the fringe the him you see what i'm saying now, when you look at um, what he just said, the hem of his garment. Why didn't you say the fringes of his garment? Because there is no hmm. fringes on your garment. There's only one fringe. That's right. Yeah. Uh -huh. That is correct. All right. So, Israel, we're hoping very much that you receive, not only receive this message, but you, you make haste to get this satanic strings that you thought were uh, fringes out of your house, off of your garments. They don't belong there. We have been deceived again. Now we have had the correction come. The Most High is giving the increase. Now, we planted, we watered, okay? Now comes the increase. If, if the Most High so chooses to give the increase. That's right. Okay? So say your prayers. Always praise the Most High. Keep the charge and that he may shine his light upon you and give you the understanding. You understand that, Israel? This is what you got to do. You want to attain to the knowledge of the scriptures. That's right. Okay? That's right. Go ahead, brother. The last thing you want to say, because we ain't going to keep them forever. Yeah, that's it, man. I just want to tell everybody, man. Well, first of all, I want to say all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh and with all y'all getting, let you get understanding and hold fast to that which is good, man. That's these scriptures all day, every day, ten toes down. All right? mm -hmm. And no pride with us, man. Look, we'll we be the first to tell y'all, like, look, y'all got some shows that we're going off on? Show us. You know what I'm saying? We'll Thank come you. right out the next day. You see that? Come out the next day and, and make a video on that. We have no pride here. You see what I'm saying? So even with this situation right here, we, you know, we talking talking about uh same thing that the fringes so-called fringes or the dangling things from your clothing whatever the hell you want to call that that's not even a fringe what, what, what is that <laughs> you see what, I'm what is it what, what is that <laughs> and then listen israel you've seen many of the destroy your videos where i come to you face to face you have seen that i had on these shirts mm -hmm. With these dangling things from them, because I have been deceived, and like the brother said, there is no pride here. We would rather our brothers correct us than Zephaniah one and eight. That's right. That's right. Did, did you see that? <laughs> That's right. So don't all never be afraid of correction, Israel. A wise man takes correction and becomes yet wiser. You understand this? So there's a lot of there's a lot of things that play in this in this lesson right here. We're learning about more than just the commandment as it relates to fringes. That's right. Okay. That's right. I got one last verse before we leave out too, man. It's Proverbs thirteen to ten. All right. Only Thank by you. pride, only by pride cometh contention, but with the well advised is wisdom. All right. So if you got if you got some type of contention about what's been said today, no problem. Um, show us that, that we're wrong, if we are wrong, and if we're not wrong, you gotta humble down. Simple. Simple. So if you got any brain cells in that, that log head of yours, but listen to this. <laughs> if you do wanna discuss it, right. if you do wanna discuss it, let us go back to Sirach in the sixth chapter. That's right. I'll bring it out right now so you can hear the thing. This is what your uh, IUICs and them and they don't do not do because they do not keep the charge of the most high. OK, now I'm going to read it one more time. It says Sirach 6 and 32, my son, if thou wilt, thou shalt be taught. Mm. And if thou wilt apply thy mind, thou shalt be prudent. That's right. If thou love to hear, thou shalt receive understanding. And if thou bow thine ear, thou shalt be wise. Stand in the multitude of the elders and cleave unto him that is wise. Be willing to hear every godly discourse. 
mm. this course, would you give them the meaning, the definition of that word, please, Zuriya? Let's go look at it together. All right, we're going to the etymology.com site. All right. Oh, I put that shit back with my bad. Oh, they got me. All right. It says process of understanding, reasoning, thought. You see that? Process of understanding, reasoning, and thought. All right. That's the definition of discourse. This the scripture told us to reason with one another too, didn't it? Surely. That's right. Okay. That's right. Okay. That's right. So, so this is a look. process. It says conversation. You see that? A conversation right here. So let's have a conversation about this. We're talking about these this border situation, these fringes situation. This is a godly discourse. It's in the scripture. Mm -hmm. Be willing to hear. Be willing to listen. And let's reason on the matter. See what I'm saying? Let's not be contentious. You feel me? All right. Where, right, brother? That's it. That's it right there, Israel. We hope that uh this has done uh done done something for you to cause you to go research this matter for yourself. Read the scriptures, pray to the most high for the understanding, and let's move forward quickly, Israel. Make haste. Your scriptures told you do not tarry to keep the command of the most high, okay? That's right. And let's check this out. This one last picture we had, we almost forgot. When we just read about that, what was that in um Zephaniah one and eight? Yeah, judging the strange apparel. There you go. About kings and princes. This right here is the king of Babylon. What does he got on at the edge of his garment? See that? What you would call friends today. We wearing the exact mm. same thing they wear. The but king we, of who? King of Babylon. Named Murdoch. No, you must have said the king of Israel. No, nah, the king of Babylon. All right, he's asking the Bible, Murdoch. All right. So we up here wearing strange apparel. I mean, we doing it today. You know, in, in some instances, we have to for like jobs or whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? But our holy apparel should not be this. You see that? Our holy or set apart apparel shouldn't be what this king of Babylon got on. Then how are we set apart? We went exactly what they got on. It's almost like me walking around with an uncle around my neck. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's holy about that? Nothing. Well, right. Let me read the judgment on that one more time for to hear the thing, Israel. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord Yahweh's sacrifice mm -hmm. that I will punish the princes and the king's children and all such as are clothed with strange apparel. You see that? Mm. Oh. So get that strange apparel off of you, out of your house, get rid of it. That's right. And make haste. You understand that? And right. send out the message to all Hebrews, whether they listen, whether they will hear, or whether they will forbear. That's right. And Hallelujah. By Shama Mashiach Yahushai. Go ahead, brother. That's right. And again, one last thing, too. If you see these type of images, <clears throat> uh, these old ancient artifacts or whatever, and you see Israelites with this on, generally they're already under captivity under somebody. Mm -hmm. Notice that. They might say King mm -hmm. Jehu. I just saw a picture with King Jehu on it. Right, had the same thing going. Him and his fellows behind him, his fellow servants or whatever, bowing down to the king of what? Uh, Shalemanaza, I believe. Had the same thing going. You see that? So don't get it confused. And let me say, mm -hmm. go ahead. no, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I'm saying that could be, you know, the reason why they got those quote unquote fringes or that type of apparel on, because they are up under a strange people. All right, wait, brother. And let and let me say one last thing, because that's a very good point. If you, if you look at this, we love images. You say, oh, no, them brothers will bring it back. I saw a picture. The hell with that picture. That's right. You read in the law of the most high God of Israel. You understand that? That's what we're going. We're going by images and archaeologists. That's right. Okay. And other historians and so-called uh, uh, wise men and that are not wise. Okay. Right. Now, again, um, if you think in yourself wise in your own conceits, mm. oh, I didn't, I didn't never put on them fringes. I ain't feel too good about it. You may not have good, but guess what? Where is the border of blue? That's a command. Mm-hmm. So that means whether you put the fringes on in error or whether you were in error because you didn't have on your border of blue, you're still in transgression of Numbers 15 and 38, which is a command. That's right. Okay. That's right. 
So don't get don't get all high minded. Hear the thing, make the correction quickly. You will become wiser and you will become closer to becoming a friend of the most high. That's right, that's right. Yep. And with that, I say shalom with y'all, man. Shabbat shalom. Hope y'all get some understanding on this matter. Reason it. Uh, look at the scriptures, reason with your fellow Israelites on it. Figure out what's going on. We read you the scriptures. Um you know, and just try our best in this walk, man. Proverbs 7, the chick is out here, man. She's heavy on, in these streets of Israel. All right? She's the biggest whore amongst all whores. All right? And just to let everybody know uh, the name of this brother, uh, if you want to check his video out, it's, it is different. Uh, the House of Wisdom. Look that brother up. House of Wisdom. Very good in his presentation. A brother laboring in the faith, uh, laboring in truth, okay? That's right. That's right. House of wisdom. All right. Shalom to the house of Is to the house of wisdom. Shalom to all the house of Israel. Until we see you again, uh, Israel. Shalom.